It's crazy what a clean sand bed does. Look at what a disaster it makes. Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today is water change day. The jellyfish tank, the 65 gallon, and the nano tank. I tend to do all my water changes in one day just to knock it out because I don't like doing them. A couple of you guys have been asking about water changes on the jellyfish tank. I know it's been a while since we've done any update videos on these jellyfish. This is the setup we got going right now. This is the two gallon tank from Jellyfish Art. We got our three jellyfish in here, Curly, Larry, and Mo. Homie's still doing good. The tank is pretty dirty right now. I do a one gallon change every other week. I also don't clean the glass or the floor or anything with any scrapers throughout the two weeks. I tend to just do it once when it's water change, water change time. I picked up this little bristle pad from them as well because I was getting a lot of algae on the bottom where the light was growing and this kind of helped scrape it all off a little bit. Look, there's still a little bit left but that really helps clean it all off. Big thing with the water. At first, I was making the salt water like the day I was gonna do the change, a couple hours, like I would make it and then I would do the change on the 65 and then I would come back over here and change the rest. But I stopped doing that because I noticed the jellyfish getting a little bit wonky. So I did a little bit more reading on the water change process of the jellyfish and everywhere I read was saying that you should make the salt water in advance at least 24 hours to let it like aerate, aerate, or whatever. Basically just not do what the natural process does inside of the tank, which completely makes sense. So after I read about that, that's when I switched it over and now I make my water probably like a week in advance. I shake it, I get it to 32 uh, salinity and then I just let it sit. Obviously I recheck it before I put it in. This also actually helped with the temperature because now it has already been in my house and acclimated to the proper temperature that the jellyfish tanks are. We're just running the uh, big filtration and a small little nano chemi pure elite bag. I've been changing out the bag every month. I just changed it last water change so I don't need to do it this time. But you could pick up these little five packs of chemi pure elite blue for the nano tanks which is what I'm using and uh, it's kind of convenient because it's just in a little pouch. I'm actually going to throw one of these in the nano tank uh, now as well to kind of help with the algae a little bit. With this tank, I'm using this little tiny siphon. The good thing is it's super slow, so it gives you time to suck up all the stuff that's on the bottom. The bad thing is it's super slow, so it takes you forever to change the water. Once you unplug your pump, you are ready to go. I cannot stress it enough that you need to be absolutely careful when you are siphoning from with this little pipe bed thing because I'm not gonna lie, I've looked away for a second and I caught a jellyfish. It's not good, okay? You don't wanna do it. You need to constantly be watching this, like even if you're on the floor, because remember when you turn the pumps off, they sink. You don't wanna do it. Luckily, my jellyfish rehabilitated themselves because, which is a good thing to know, like if they get little nicks and stuff, they just bring themselves back. But it could have been really, really bad. So you definitely want to watch the tip of this when you're siphoning the water out at all times. Never take your eye off the ball. The other reason changing the jellyfish water is kind of slow is because I do it in stages. Look how slow this is. Once I got a good amount of water out, I can then go in with my handy dandy tools and clean the glass and stuff, you know? Oh yeah. I try to keep my movements like kind of slow because if the jellyfish catch wind of it, they just freaking launch around. It's crazy. Look at how much crap is just floating around in here. Sheesh. It's kind of hard to tell, but the bottom is clean from all the algae. But as you can see, look at what a disaster it makes spinning all that stuff around. Instead of trying to siphon everything out of the column, what I do is I let it sit like this for a while so that everything will sink to the bottom and I have better chances of getting out the majority of the debris that's floating around in here. So I'll pause on this one and go water change something else. Like the main display. Today is not a usual water change because I have to siphon the sand bed of the floor, which sucks. But here we go. Siphon the sand bed a little bit, five gallons worth anyway. It didn't go too far, but it's crazy what a clean sand bed does. This has now sat enough. Look, you see? Look at all the chunks on the floor. That's way easier to suck up than if it was just a bunch of stuff floating in the water column. The fun part is watching all this stuff 
get sucked right up. Way easier than having it float around. You gotta be real careful when you're by the jellyfish. As you can see, we got, I mean, there's still stuff in there, but we got a lot of the stuff out of here. This also goes to the fact that if you were doing weekly water changes, most likely you would have a lot less guacamunga in here, and this would be a little bit quicker. I wanna make sure that the salinity is pretty, pretty, pretty close, like very, very close. We are after 0.32. 32, we're good to go. Easiest way that I have found to do this without making too crazy of a mess is by pouring it into a little cup and then running it down the side walls. It still makes a bit of a mess, but it's not too, too terrible. Boom, we are at the max line. Another thing I do every water change is add some of this Jelly Bio Maintain. I just do two milliliters in the back chamber. And now we wait. And if we weren't exhausted already, it's time to do another tank. I've been uh, using a lot less light on this tank, trying to, you know, control the algae a little bit, but the Bryopsis has stayed off the glass, so that's great news. The good thing about this one is it's a lot quicker, like five or six cups worth to get to probably a little less than a gallon. Ah, looks about the same. Drop it back in. I'm also going to add this little uh, Chemi Pure Elite Nano to the tank. So the filter floss is down there. Remember, it gets sucked in through the bottom there. And then we got the Chemi Pure Elite Nano on top. Gave it a little clean of maru on the outside glass and the nano floating rock nano reef tank is good to go. Got the outside glass clean on this one, so it is all done as well. I only got to vacuum five gallons on the sand bed. It's still better than nothing and it looks way better. It's crazy what a clean sand bed does and a water change. Like I hate doing water changes, but there's no denying how much like, I, th the tank just feels refreshed. Like, the clean glass, the clean sand, it just makes everything look so much better. Then, after all that, we get dropped back off over at the jellyfish tank to finalize everything and finish the water change. So, when you're cleaning the outside of the glass, like on my other tanks, the glass, I actually just use like a napkin and Windex. I know it's probably not the best, but so far, so good. On these acrylic tanks, only use a microfiber. I only do this when I'm doing water changes. It's also uh, good to get, you know, some of the dust off. If you've ever had an acrylic tank before, you know that they scratch pretty easy. Honestly, I didn't do the best job cleaning the inside of the tank glass this time. Boom. Jellyfish water change is done too. So that's all three tanks. Water change day is complete. Now you can probably see why I hate water change day. It's just like, it's so much. It takes so long now because of the three tanks. It's just like such a process. It's nobody's fault but my own, you know? Nobody told me to get three tanks. I got the three tanks. I gotta maintain the three tanks for now. Eventually I'll have somebody maintain them because I, I just can't, especially if I keep getting tanks, like no way. I can't do it. I would spend what, a whole day maintaining tanks? It's not for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions on the jellyfish water change or any of the reef tank water changes, drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. Granted, I'm learning just like a lot of you as well, so, but I will try. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We've got new videos every single week. Hopefully you guys are here for it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.